Ice cream. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Before we begin uh, continuation of the definition of the guide, the third level of guide, which we have explained, and yesterday I gave a brief summary. So. We arrived to the third level, which we explained it, and there are some more to explain by Grand Sheikh's notes and Maulana Sheikh Nazim notes and Sheikh Sharaf Din notes. So he is the guide of the 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 one that chose between the after the murid being uh, being raised up by the guide of purification they come to the level of to be attending with the guide of tasfiyah, of sift, sift, siftness, who sift the murids as a whole by the order of the, of the, of the higher level of guidance, which, is, which in this time is Maulana Sheikh Muhammad Nazim al-Haqqani, may Allah bless him. He is the guide of tarbiyah. This is the highest level, the fourth level. Before reaching to that level, the guide who is under that, who is under him, the guide of Tasfiyah, the guide who sift people and get the cream out of them, the best, and present them to the, the highest level of guidance, which is the guide of uh, the one who raised the murid up, which we call it in Arabic, Murshid at tarbiyah the guide of, of uh, raising. raising people from childhood. When you raise your son, we say you are the father that you are raising your son or your daughter. So he is the one that raised this creamy, this, the best of the cream, the, the best of the murid. He will take them into his circle and build them up. Before we go into that, I would like Anything I see, I'm, I'm going to criticize whatever I see wrong. Uh, people like that. Uh, so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave his favors, as Allah said in Holy Quran, وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثِ By Allah's favors, you have to tell people what Allah gives you a favor. If you hide that, it's okay. But if you put it, put it in front of people and say, oh, Allah gave me that favor, but I'm not going to make you to feel it. As if he is torturing you. As if they are torturing you. I have a fan but I don't want to run it. That's torture, isn't it? Winding you up. Winding you up? It's good. <laughs> Winding you up. I didn't understand what that meant. So, I don't like these games that people play. They put an air condition there. I asked to be opened. For people, at least in, in these days, they are fasting, they're at least sitting, at least they relax. They came with an excuse that the windows are open. I said, we close the windows. We open the fans. They came with an excuse after a while that, oh, the remote control is lost. We lost it. 
What is this? They say we are stupid. We are stupid, yes, to believe them. <laughs> yeah, we believe them, we are stupid. I'm not believing him what he said to me. I'm not saying the name, but I don't believe what he said to me, one word. He said, oh, we put it for winter. Then came and accused that they put it only for winter. Air what is the air conditioning for winter? Because it has a heating. The, the, you have to believe this nonsense. Oh, if you believe, you are good murid in their eyes. If you don't believe, you are bad one. Okay, we are from the bad one. We are not going to believe it. Let's continue now our discussion. <laughs> Because people might say, why this is there? Anyone did say, why this air condition is there and not open? It looks pretty. It looks pretty. That's why they're torturing you, telling you, ah, we have this, but what we want, we open it. When we don't want, we don't open it. You give us, put in our pockets money, we open it. Allahu Akbar. Allah is going to punish these people who are trying to control everything in this place. And Maulana doesn't know. And I don't like to go and tell Maulana share these things. Any case. As we said yesterday, we go back to the suhba of the characteristics of the Sheikh of Tasfiya, of the third level of guidance. And as we said that he has to be able to put in the heart of his murid, after he put in his heart 500 ob obligations and 800 forbiddance, means he has the power that he took from his sheikh, who is the fourth level, which that sheikh, which Maulana in this time, took from Prophet wasallam. So all it has to come from Prophet. Everything, the door for it is Prophet wasallam. There is no other way, there is no other door. Allah said in Holy Quran, وَابْتَغُوا إِلَيْهِ وَسِيلًا Seek for him the means, and the means uh, is Prophet ﷺ, our Prophet ﷺ, always is Prophet ﷺ. And from him to your Shaykh, and from your Shaykh to different levels of Murshid that they are under his way. So he has to put these 500 obligations as if you have done them. And you will be rewarded for them. And he has to take away from your heart 800 forbiddens as if you have seen them and stopped yourself from committing these sins. That's not easy. A who can control himself in 24 hours, not committing anything. Even if you lock yourself in a room, 24 hours, infinite numbers of forbiddens you are committing. One of them, they say, oh, I locked myself in a room, I'm good. That is a forbidden, by itself. I lock myself in the room, I'm not going to talk any with anyone. That is an ego in you. You are proud of yourself. That is a sin. That's why Prophet ﷺ, he said, The most thing that I fear for my ummah is the hidden shirk. And these hidden shirks are in everyone. We don't feel them. They come. They try to affect human beings. And he said that these 800 forbiddens has, he has to eliminate them from your heart, from the heart of the murid, according to what Allah likes and what Prophet wasallam likes, and to give you for every forbiddance of these 800 forbiddens, a power to understand it and to learn it. That's why many, many of us, they might say, how that can be? Huh? 
Anyone say, anyone say how that can be? How it can be, that is the secret. Means you did not reach yet that level to know what the Murshid can put in your heart, how you are thinking yourself that you are Murshid then. Even this you cannot understand it. When the Murshid uh, put in your heart to block these 800 forbiddens, and he said he will give a meditation, a thought, about every forbidden at that moment in your heart that you will realize it, means this is not for everyone. It's only for the cream of the, of the murids. The rest they cannot. It's not for every murid. As you go up in, in levels, first we were under the level of Murshid al-Barakah, then we were guide of the guide of blessings, then we were under Murshid of at the guide of purification, now we are coming to the guide of to sift, to collect the cream. So in every level it becomes less and less and less. So in that level it's very limited to very few people that they can understand what they are putting in their hearts and how they can realize the good from the bad and they understand that Sheikh has put the good in his heart and eliminated the bad from his heart. An example. <coughs> Sayyidina Abdul Khalik al Ujduwani, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his soul. Quran Sheikh said that he put a, a murid in a seclusion for 40 days. And he said to the murid, whatever strange, if something happens strange with you, tell me. Every day they send him his food, one small bowl of lentils, 24 hours. That is the food, training. When you eat less, you'll be awake, cannot sleep. They don't want you to sleep, they want you to be awake. When you eat too much, you go and sleep without feeling too much food. You eat too much food. Somali people are very famous in eating big lambs stuffed with rice and meat. They, that's why they are eating each other in Somali. <coughs> so, he put his murid And one day, he was, went to the sheikh telling him to Sayyidina Abdul Khalik al Ujduwani, Oh, my sheikh, today I had something strange happening to me. And he said, What has happened to you? He said, A rat was speaking with me in perfect Arabic language. It's nice <laughs> for a rat speaking Arabic, which is good. Because in Khalwa, anything possible. Don't think it's too much. He said, what happened? He said, yes, Saidi, when you sent me the food, I was eating. But the prayer time came. So this rat came from the hole of the cave or the room, whatever he was doing, and coming to the foot and eating. And I'm, I'm making, I'm doing the prayer, I'm praying, and I'm seeing. I wanted to finish quickly because this rat is eating the food. And 
As soon as I said salamu alaikum running to the rat, the rat ran away to the, uh, to the hole. Then I put a paper closing the hole and continue my prayer. And then the rat pushed the paper and came another time. And he began to eat. And then run that away. Run away after I've said salamu alaikum, quickly finish my prayer and kick the rat out. And the rat went to the hole and extend its head and said, Ya Ahmak, <laughs> oh stupid, in perfect Arabic language, do you think that if it is not written my name on that food, I'd be able to touch that food? Oh my Sheikh, this is the strangest thing happened to me. He said, oh my son, you have failed your test. because your trust was going to be given to you, your amanat, your secrets, but you blocked them. What I did? I didn't do anything. He said, oh my son, do you think a rat can speak Arabic? If not, if not, there, there must be something that made that rat to speak Arabic. You must not see the rat, you have to see the one behind the rat. It was me that I speaking to you, telling you that you did something wrong. You must let that rat to eat because it is written the name of that food for that rat. You lost your trust. I was ready to give you your trust. They prohibited me and they stopped me. Awliya Allah saying, no, it's not ready yet. Because you didn't see that me in that rat. That's big. That's, he's showing him even to this small, small detail. Awliya Allah are open eyes on their followers, on their murids. They know. What's happening? Every detail they know, but they, sometimes they don't talk. You don't think that Maulana doesn't know about this AC here? And they don't open it? <coughs> keep quiet. But we have permission not to keep quiet, to criticize. If there is no permission to criticize, we keep our tongue, our mouth zipped. So to this extent that is awliyaullah they are looking at their followers even in the in 24 hours in every moment in their lives grand sheikh used to say when you you move in the bed right or left at night when you are sleeping i can hear your movement more stronger than a thunder when thunder comes, I can hear that movement of my murid, even he is in the east and I am in the west. I can hear him. So they put in your heart this knowledge of knowing these forbiddens one by one. Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, and this. Maulana Sheikh Nazim, may Allah give him long life, was telling me one time that uh, Grand Sheikh ordered him for a seclusion six months in, uh, in Medina Tul Munawwara. Ala sakiniha awdalu salatu wassalam. And he was not, he was ordered to do the five prayers in the in Masjid al-Haram, Masjid al-Nabawi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Rawla. So he has to go early for every prayer. That's long time ago, not, not like now it's crowded. So, and to go to the Masjid, he has to look at his step, where he's putting his feet. Cannot look further. Going, praying, coming back, continue his seclusion. 
At the beginning of the seclusion, he said to me that he got an order to count, and he was young at that time, to count, to count how much he can count from 800 forbiddens. He was young, and it was the second seclusion of his. First seclusion was in Amman, in Jordan, in a city called Suwailah. This was the second one, six months, as I know, in Medina al Munawwara. And he said, I was being ordered to count how many forbidden I I, I, that I must, I, if I can count them, how many I can count. Should I begin, I was going, I was thinking, how possible there is 800 forbidden? It's too much, how you can count them? You can count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What is 800? He said, I begin to count every day whatever Allah opened to me in my heart through Prophet and my share. And by the end of the seclusion, six months, I was able to count 187 forbidden. Understanding them, knowing their remedies, like a medication, to give medication to the to these uh, forbiddens in order to eliminate them. But I was not able to go more than 187. It's not easy. He said, at the beginning I was able to count 30 maximum. And then one week later, after that, they left me without able to count anything more. And then they, they give a push and then I always begin to be able to count more and more until they came 187. After three months, they opened to me to know the 800 forbidden. And they opened them to me to teach them to the heart of our students. His students means the Maulana students. And he said, I'll give you an example. He said one time, Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise his, his, him higher and higher and bless his soul. One day he was walking with his murid by the river. I mentioned that story in, in London recently. But always you keeps things, not all of it to be explained. You keep according to the listeners. You don't open everything. He was walking with his students by the Euphrates, Dejla and, and Furat, to the two rivers. And they were passing by a hill and his student doesn't know how to swim. And as they were moving, he kicked his, his student with his hand. The student was falling into the river. So according to Allah, there are five levels in the heart. The first level is the heart, which is shaitan can come in for bad inspiration, for, for that uh, bad inspiration, bad gossips or bad thoughts. Dunya comes in, nafs come, comes in, hawa, desires comes in, all in the first level. In the second level, shaitan is not allowed to enter. Only certain levels of awliya Allah, they can enter in the second level, which is called as sir, maqam as sir, the secret. 
which is in everyone's heart. There is that, that, that level, that state, that maqam, it's in everyone's heart. But no one can access it without the code. You have to put a code, you access. And that, these codes Allah gave them to Prophet, Prophet gave them to Awliyaullah, who are responsible of this second level. They can access the, the hearts of their murids. In the third level, which is specially for Naqshbandi Tariqah, Shaykhs, murid, uh, for, uh, guides, not for anyone else. Allah gave them that level. The second level was for other tariqats. Third level was for the Naqshbandi tariqat. Awliya Allah. They can access maqam sirru sir. The secret of secret. Because they can zoom in the secret and they go so deep inside. When you have a circle and you zoom in straight forward, you come to the center. Is not? The center is a small what? Target. Part, dot. dot. Very small dot. But if you put a microscope on that f small dot, it becomes a huge universe. Another face. Another uh, level. Like you have you take a, a blood, blood from someone, test them, put one little bit drop inside and look in the microscope. You see millions of uh, bacteria or millions of viruses full them. A huge universe by itself. A cell of the body is a huge universe. Any cell of the body has its own mechanism system. It has its, it's like a, a huge uh, army uh, battalion against any bacteria to come to defend it, to defend the body. So when you zoom in, Allah, when they zoom inside the secret, they go to another universe, which is secret of secret, a huge universe in front of them. They can see more there, more of the human beings' characters. Not body, they are not uh, looking into uh, a medical system. They are looking into the characters, behaviors, the wild characters that we carry. They want to reach, to take you to maqamul ihsan, to, to moral excellence. But they have a, awliyaullah, they have a, 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 a level they cannot go further, so it ends up. Then it comes the level of Prophet ﷺ, maqam al-akhfa or maqam al-khafa, hidden, the hidden state where Prophet ﷺ can zoom in and it give him the whole picture of creation. Allah cannot. Then there is the third, uh, four, uh, fifth level which is only in Allah's hand. Even Prophet doesn't go there without permission. Maqam al-Akhfa, the most hidden. So this, these three, these five levels are there. So Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani was looking from the second level, from the level of secret. He pushed his murid and he, his murid fall down all the way without any doubt of anything about the Sheikh, complete love to the Sheikh, submission, surrendering. At that moment, when the Sheikh saw him clean, he catch him with his hand. His hand was under his feet and pull him back to the hill. And he gave him his trust. Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul. He said, at that moment, the awliyaullah from the Naqshbandi level, they said to Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani, why you gave him his secrets? He said, I didn't detect anything wrong in the second level. Well, they said, but we detected on the third level that he did something wrong. If it was for Naqshbandi, they will never give him his trust. Means, 
I'm asking those who are watching, and they are might be watching through these cameras. They they are considering themselves huge guides. Like a king, a king has a huge kingdom, and at the fence of the kingdom, which all his kingdom is, and the ministers, cabinets, army, uh, palaces, inside the fences, and at the door of the fence, there is one person sitting with a chair. Since he is there, sitting with a chair, he thinks himself is the king. He began to say to himself, oh, I am the best one. I opened the door, I closed the door. I have secrets. These ones that they have permission to authorization of zikr, they think themselves they become guides. If they are guides, can they detect above the Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jirani? A Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jirani was not able to detect it. With, he is the house of his time. Detect what happened in the heart of his murid. These people, they re reach that level? Allahu Akbar. That's why sicknesses is too much. The sickness of people like Hubb al Riyasa to be, to be a love of Presidency to be presidents under and the chair to be glued under them, these uh, pseudo representatives. I'm not saying out of hate, no, I'm saying out of love. You correct yourself, tell your followers that you have nothing. If Maulana sit and give his khutbah every day live on the internet. You go and listen what Maulana says. He say, I'm the weakest. I'm nothing. I'm zero. If Maulana, he says about himself like that, where, where you have got your authority to say you are something, and you walk like a, a, a peacock. Peacock is, is the house of Iblis. With feathers? With might be the, f the feathers are felt now. <laughs> so, in any case, the Naqshbandi guide who was on the level of Irshad, the highest level, the go of the golden chain, in the time of Sayyidina Abu Qadir Shilani, because they have every night an association with Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Awliyaullah, all of them. All. No discrimination. From other tariqah, from Naqshbandi tariqah, everyone has his name where he has to be able to be present, to stand, to sit in the presence of Prophet And the Naqshbandi Sheikh said from the Golden Chain, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Sheikh Abdul Qadir, how you gave him the trust? He said, I didn't detect anything. He said, we detected. He said, what he was saying, what, what you detected? He said, we detected when he was falling down. He is not objecting. But for us, it's an objection. He was saying, with what wisdom? What is the wisdom that my sheikh pushed me in the water? That was in Naqshbandi Tariqa, a... a, a uh -huh. A question mark, an issue that he will not get his trust. We cannot give him his trust. If he did not have that complaint, which we consider a complaint, he would have already passed from the secret to the secret of secret. And we would have given also his trust from that level. But we cannot. What he said, he didn't say anything. You know, with what wisdom my sheikh pushed me. 
He didn't say why he pushed me. Yeah, I like to know the, with the wisdom because then I'll be happy. He was submitting to the push of the sheikh to the river and he knows that he doesn't know how to swim. He didn't say I'm going to die, my sheikh pushed me uh, to get rid of me. Many of us we say that oh the sheikh is not seeing us, he wants to get rid of us. And many say, oh, I'm not coming back because I didn't see the sheikh. It's, it's a blessing when you carry the name of your father. If you don't carry a name of your father, means you are an illegitimate child. If you don't know your father, means you are an illegitimate child. If you, you, know, you know your father, you are an illegitimate ch child and you are proud if your father is someone important, honorable person in the tribe or the community, is not? And if what you think if your father is a saint, spiritual father, that you call yourself after his name, is it not a a high level. It's enough for us that dignified us is enough to we are, we are dignified with his name to for people to say, oh, these people are Naqshbandi Hakani. When we first in 1990 we did the first website on the internet. There were five websites on the internet. Not Naqshbandi website. There were CNN, AT&T, these news agencies. And we were considered the fifth between the best websites at that time. 1990, 1991, at the beginning of 91. And all of them, they were linking with us. And we were called Naqshbandi Sufi Order. At that time, we found that, oh, there are many people, they say Naqshbandis, but they are not with Maulana Sheikh. So at that time, we, we went into uh, uh, putting the Maulana's uh, uh, title as Haqqani, we begin to put Naqshbandi Haqqani. We were the first to use that. Naqshbandi Hakkani to say that we are different, not different in, but we are a branch like Mujaddidi, Naqshbandi Mujaddidi of Sayyidina Ahmad al Farooq al Sarhindi. So to show that there is another branch, another line in order to separate from the others to everyone to know his father. So we were proud to be and honored and dignified to be under using Hakkani because it is our father's name, title. So, people are, uh, even if you don't see Maulana, you must, be, you, must have, you must be proud of that he accepted you and you are within his territory. And his territory is not this must, his territory is the whole world. And the whole world is not his territory, the heavens, Allah gave awliya, Allah access to heavens. I will mention to you tomorrow, inshallah, what Allah gave to Sayyidina Shah al-Nakshband. One of these issues that you can understand how much they have access for heavens. So, the Sheikh, then they raised Maulana up to all 800 forbidden at the completion of his seclusion. Able to not, to uh, not, not know them one by one and differentiate them one by one and what kind of remedies for everyone he was able to give. Like a doctor gives you different medicines, so giving you different things. And he said, 
he is able, the, the, the guide of that level, the third level, is able to take from the moon, from the moon, at least 350 dalil. Proofs. He, was, he is able to take 350 signs from the moon itself alone. 350 signs of Allah's oneness. Means he is able to see different things that even NASA was not able to see. To say that there are these 350 proofs or signs that indicate the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, he is able to take more than that ten times from the existence of the sun. Imagine the sun. The middle of the sun, the center of the sun, not the center center, but within, within the center and its surrounding, like hundreds of miles from the center. The temperature is how much? I mentioned it yesterday. 50, 50 million degrees centigrade. 50 million degrees centigrade. On 3,000 or 2,000 degrees centigrade, the bones and the body, when they, incre when they cremate, they go up to 2,000 degrees centigrade, nothing will be left, everything ashes. When they go 5,000, iron melt and gold melt, everything falling apart. 50 million degrees centigrade, between 5,000 to 50 million. 5,000 on Earth, the Earth, the Earth melt. 50 million, how the sun is still standing. You are engineer, how the sun is, Argento, how is the sun is still, 50 million degrees centigrade. A volcano, which is 5,000, degrees centigrade under Earth is shooting and blowing Earth out and making everything into ashes. If that heat comes on Earth, double of the volcano or triple, what will happen to the Earth? It goes. What kind of uh, ground that sun has? They don't know. No one knows. Alama don't know. Awliya Allah they know. That's why they can take big uh, signs from the sun about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oneness. Everything in this universe shows different signs of Allah's oneness. Take the leaf of the tree. It shows you many signs of Allah's oneness. We are looking at the leaves there or leaves here. Is a leaf living? How is living? It has water comes in. What kind of molecules it has? It turns uh, carbon dioxide to oxygen through the leaves itself. See how we only uh, three of them now. Then it dies. It falls down. Allah, Yuhi wa Yumit. He create and He take away and and turn oxygen. Give you give you to breathe. This is a signs of Allah's oneness in one, one leaf that you don't pay attention. You, you step it on your feet when you are walking. You know, you know that to step on your feet on a leaf intentionally is a, is a sin. It's one of the forbidden, 800 forbidden, because there is Allah's light that Allah created that leaf. It's been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one created the leaf except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you step on your feet and leave intentionally, that is a sin. 
But if you are working in a jungle or working in a garden and you step it, that's okay. But intentionally, that's not accepted. How much people throw food in, their, in, the, in the garbage? Many. Oh, don't ask. So, awliyaullah, they can take from the moon, from the sun, from the stars, and one does not interfere with the other. One sign does not interfere with the other. Infinite number of signs they can take. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. We'll continue this tomorrow. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmatil fatiha. We see you. There is bro, uh, bro, uh, live broadcast today, today, as usual at five, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. حضرتك مسافر الجمعة مش هيك بعد الصلاة.